Hi, this is John Lamazny, and tonight on Beer Critic, uh, where my beer reviews are available at beercritic.wordpress.com, we are going to be talking about Stone and their Imperial Russian Stout. Let me go ahead and take some detail shots. This is a 10.5% alcohol by volume. This is the limited spring 2009 release. It is a, let's see if you can see that, 22 fluid ounce bomber. And a beautiful sight to be sure. See if we can see. Let me turn that around. Very nice. I love this brew. Um, I've had it a few times and one of the things I really like is this back panel where there's a very personal sort of message. It tells the story of um, Imperial Russian Stout style. Also mentions that it sellers especially well, which is nice. At 10% ABV, I'm sure that it does. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at our cheat sheet for calories at 10% ABV right there um, a 12 ounce bottle would be about 300 calories a 22 ounce bottle is going to be about 600 in my estimation Let's see if I can get one more shot of the entire bomber Let's see if we can Play with the light a little bit to uh, take some of the heat off. Very nice. So, as is expected for a Russian Imperial Stout, because of the intense aromas and um, the fact that we want to collect them, we are going to be using a snifter. Let's go ahead and crack this. Beautiful sound to be sure. And now a straight down pour. Nice looking body. I'm going to move this back a bit so that we can get some light on it. Take a shot of our entire snifter. We'll do a little bit of a low point of view here. Get a shot of that beautiful tan head. As you can see, it's a fairly opaque, wholly opaque really, I'm not seeing any light through that. A wholly opaque body, uh, fully black, with a nice tan, thick head. 
it does not look like it's going anywhere. It's already starting to stick to the glass a little bit. Very, very nice. There's me. Let's see if we can play with that just a little bit. So, for the Imperial Russian Stout, I expect to have some heady aroma and also to um, smell some coffee, which I do. I get uh, a liqueur scent, very licorice. A really spicy, uh, almost burning scent there. Very, very nice. Um, the head, as you can see, is doing this really nice holding on. As with the uh, Yeti from last night, there's probably a lot of sugar in this. And definitely sticking to the glass there. Very, very nice. I would say that it is beyond cloudy, it's, it's opaque, it's got a very persistent head, tan, black body. The aroma is intense, it is not faint in the least, it's sharp, um, but there is some sweetness in the back end of it, there's a lot of alcohol in this aroma, and the impression is very nice. Looking forward to tasting. I imagine there's going to be a lot of grain in the flavor and um, some earth, some resin. Uh, nothing off putting except for the little bit of the burn from the alcohol. Let's taste. An incredibly balanced uh, sweetness, bitterness, burn in the finish, spiciness. Not a Belgian spice or a, or a funkiness, but um, definitely in keeping with the style. Now that licorice starts to come in. It is uh, really in the middle of bitter and sweet. It, as, it, as it ages on the palate, uh, it gets more and more bitter. Um, the sweetness right off, though, that chocolate sort of coffee sweetness up top is very nice. I would say that there's some bread in there. Definitely to uh, toast, definitely uh, nuttiness. Uh, caramel, toffee definitely coming across. Um, lots of resin, lots of tar. Uh, the flavor is amazing. It's delicious. It's initially creamy, almost like a milkshake. Then it increasingly becomes warming in the mouth. Uh, it is full bodied. I mean, you, you definitely know that you're tasting it. Uh, very faint carbonation, not a lot of activity there. The finish is very long definitely makes you want to have another sip. A very intense finish. I mean, it's sitting there on the palate, sort of heavy. Um, and it's mostly bitterness for me. I think it's excellently crafted, as every stone brew I've ever had. It's very fresh, 2009. And I loved it. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you again real soon. This is John Lamazdi for beercritic.wordpress.com.